the good mirrors. Series. Okay, we were like <laughs> shocked to see sunshine right. Craig, this afternoon. <laughs> wow. It was well, yeah. nice. Yeah, I know. I think we were applauding the sunshine. Yeah. Like, what is that big orb, that bright orb in the sky? We've got more of it. And of course, clearing conditions tonight. Um, we'll get started with a, a little peak of sunshine on the right side of your screen as we look out towards SeaTac. Uh, and it looks like we have a new system to talk about. What's important to note is uh, this is going to be mostly a rain event, and I know that's going to melt a lot of the snow, but it's a whole lot better than snow on top of snow, as we were talking about. Temperatures tonight will easily fall to the freezing point below that. So uh, tomorrow morning, watch for some more ice, more so than we had this morning. Uh, the radar, we're giving it a break, thankfully. There's not much coming down at all. I'll show you the snowfall levels. Tomorrow morning, they start off about 300 feet, so early in the morning we could see a rain snow mix close to sea level. They will quickly shoot up to about 1,000 feet and will stay right about there or higher through Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday they come back down pretty low. So for the next three days, most of what we will get will be in the form of rain. We'll start off with Futurecast, 1 o'clock in the morning, pink being a mixture of rain and snow, and that's when those snow levels are at 300 feet, and most of the energy from Tacoma to the south. I think by 530 in the morning, you still have a rain snow mix, maybe along Interstate 5, uh, some of the roads from Olympia to Chehalis. But by 8 o'clock, most of this will be in the form of rain. Even though you've got a little bit of pink showing up, most of the lower line areas will be getting some rain. The mountains, yeah, that's where we're going to have the snow. So if you're traveling over the passes, be aware. But even through 630 by the evening hours, still some more scattered showers. Friday morning, another round, but most of this is going to be scattered and light and in the form of rain again uh, above sea level. So that's some good news for us. Uh, we'll continue to melt some of the snow. Of course, the slush makes a mess. Uh, we do have flood aerial advisories all of the green area because of the rain that's coming in melting the snow, a little bit of sunshine during the afternoon, melting the snow. So, of course, this is going to mean those, uh, you know, a lot of those carports or things, roofs that don't have a good support system could easily come down, some branches, some trees. Uh, winter weather advisories along the eastern side of the Cascades if you'll be traveling there. Here are your overnight lows, mostly 20s to the north, and we'll stay with temperatures right about freezing or below that right around most of Puget Sound this evening into early tomorrow morning before that warmer air starts to surge up. So we'll see about 31 uh, Gig Harbor, Tacoma, right along the coast, mostly mid 30s. After that, We'll see afternoon highs in the upper 30s to low 40s. Now, here's a look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. 39 for a high. Again, most of this will be rain. Friday, light scattered showers in the form of rain. Saturday, same story, same for Sunday. And then uh, by the time we get into Monday, Mark and Lori would get a nice break. Tuesday, I think what comes in it will be in the form of rain. Next to Wednesday, I think, is when we look for more lowland rain snow mix. Right back into the forecast. Okay, Craig, thank you.